Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News, and we have one of my favorite types of videos to make. One about nothing, a barrel scraping video. Barrel scraping Dave. Was Rachel Reckia checking out Johnny? And by the way, when we ask this question, we always have to bring up the X-Files music. Was Rachel Reckia checking out Johnny D. Filippo? We've got a video that was sent to us from a friend of the channel. And in that video, in, in the text thread, the person said, Interesting little insight into the Bachelor seating chart last night at the People's Choice Awards. Is it just me, or is Rachel staring at Johnny in this photo? So I'm going to play the video that was from Emma Slater's uh, Dancing with the Stars Professional Dancer. We'll play the video there. Follow me on Instagram at DNeils. Live right after this on Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Neal. And don't forget to check the comment section of this video to see our teacher of the day and how you can support her during the Christmas season. All right, so before we get into that angle of the story, you know, there's so many different videos going off from Bachelor for, in the Bachelor world. So people had posted this one, which was Johnny checking out his phone in the background. Yeah, and he's probably checking his hair. Hey, look, he doesn't... Look, let's not shame Johnny for checking out his hairline. Everyone's got a little mirror in their pocket. They want to brush up, make sure the eyebrows are combed up to this, you know, the heavens. So anyway, so there he is looking fantastic in that custom fit suit. But here's the video that, that was shared with me. So this is Emma Slater. She's going to be co-hosting the Dancing with the Stars uh, uh, national tour with Gabby Windy. And we know Sa Selma Blair is in this video. Selma Blair won, won the award. There she is, beautiful Selma Blair. What a beautiful woman. And then, Thank you, Ricky. Look at this. And so, so then right behind Gabby is Johnny. So we're just getting a lay of the land, checking out the seating chart. So there's Gabby. And then Johnny's ex was right behind John, Gabby's ex, Johnny. Oh, so there's Johnny. So if we if we look at Johnny and assume if he was facing forward, let's say that's his 12 o'clock. So he's looking to his 3 o'clock right there. And, of course, there's Nick Vile checking up and making sure he, you know, got his automatic download of Bachelor Rush Hour, the daily podcast that compiles all the Bachelor Nation news, hosted by yours truly, Bachelor Rush Hour. I'm sure he's giving us a five-star review right there. And there's, uh, or maybe he's looking at, um, you know, his text messages from Katie Thurston. I don't know. Either way, Natalie's joy is in the background. So we have this seating chart. So, um, so Johnny's, uh, he's opened towards the stage. But as we pan over, oh, that's Rachel Recchia. Let's go backwards. Is Rachel checking out Johnny? She's like, hey, look at this guy. You know, so let's go a little farther back here. There's Johnny. Looks over, playing it cool. And there's Rachel Recky. I mean, look, guys, I don't know. Is Ryan Reynolds standing right behind Johnny? Maybe. But if you ask me, Rachel's framed accordingly to let Johnny know she's also single. Imagine that follow. Hey, I know we've had a couple rough ones, but why do you say we get out there and bump our Harrisons? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see. And, of course, Gabby after People's Choice Awards. Oh, by the way, let's go back here. I wanted to say people were wondering, oh, but how do we know for sure that they were looking at each other? Well, you guys know me. I'm not. I'm no expert. So looking at the replay isn't the only way to try to figure out if she was actually looking at Johnny. After we watched this content right here, I was able to stitch together the two separate views and I pull them up on Photoshop right here. So if you look at the Photoshop here, we've got Rachel and I, like I said, I stitched this together. So Rachel's right there looking at Johnny. He's looking aloof, away, pensive. And she's like, ooh, a bad boy I can't have. But what I'd like to do in order to kind of combine the gazes there, use the laws of geometry, and actually looking at the uh, principle of Dale's toes, we see that Johnny's eyes are connected in a perfect, dead-on straight line to Rachel's. And she's puckering up the lips saying, I see you, my guy. I see you. And that's, my friends, is how you relate it back to things that just don't matter. All right. So anyway, there's some other aspects of the People's Choice Awards I wanted to get into. Afterwards, we had Gabby Windy doing a Q&A, which is always interesting. So let's jump back to um, other, you know, barrel scraping news. What's your biggest insecurity and how do you deal with it? She said so many. It's a lifelong journey, but the more you can love yourself, the more you can love others, which is the true reward and makes you feel more connected. I'm not actualized or enlightened. So also therapy and champagne. Well, maybe she is a little actualized and enlightened, you know, at least enough to know that she's not. Just got engaged. Any advice? She says, don't take advice from me on this. And Gabby with quite possibly the most unflattering selfie. But you ever turn on your camera to take a photo of something and then 
the camera's actually pointed back at you. That's the face I look like every single time. I'm like, I'm not even wearing sunglasses. All right, celebrity crush. And then she has a photo of um, New Jersey native Vincent Guadagnino. Of course, st uh, stoking those flames. Oh, speaking of Rachel, favorite moment with Rachel. Honestly, so many. She's as loyal and amazing as she seems, and she's honestly the best thing to come out of my experience on Bachelor. But also when I couldn't stop spraying champagne on one of our first dates of filming. So there she is, and of course, point out Ryan Reynolds in the background. Why was he there? He's too famous to be there, but either way. Were you trolling Logan when you introduced yourself on the beach? She said, OMG. Hold on, wrong one. She said, OMG. Oh I was God. kidding because there was a long line of men I was introducing myself to, so I just did the same thing to Logan to be funny, and everyone got so mad, lols. I don't take offense to it. And, of course, this was their interview yesterday, which, of course, broke the internet with its sound <laughs> quality. Just playing banter for right now, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, that was Rachel Recchia, possibly. By the way, is she wearing the same outfit there? I can't tell if that's the same outfit. Was it the black dress with like a Cruella de Vil look? Yeah, I guess. Okay, same outfit. So either way, she was looking fantastic there as she squared away. And they always say, they always say this men. They say men. Uh, women always make the first move, but it's not going to be to initiate conversation. It's going to let you know that they're interested. And I'm here with breaking news. Um, uh, yeah, there it is. I'm here with breaking news to tell Johnny DiFilippo. Me thinks Rachel Recchia is a bit interested. Let's see if you can fly, uh, grab the controls of her plane. I don't know. That was a weird metaphor. Anyway, and then finally, here's um, a reel put together by Nick's co-host. They co-hosted, I don't know you know, the uh, grocery store and what they, you know, whatever they were doing, taking interviews in the parking lot. I don't really know, but there they were. So his co-host, I couldn't tell you who she is, but I'm sure she's good at her job. And then they are, Nick's got uh, the no socks, short sh pants look happening. Uh, very chilly out there. You don't want to get ticks. You don't want to get bitten in the ankle. Um, by a parasite. All right, anyway, so there they are. Is a tick a parasite? I guess not exactly. It does live off the blood of humans, but okay. Either way, folks, let me know what you guys think. I also wanted to give you guys an exclusive look at today's Christmas-themed vlog. The thumbnail says, Treeflation. I know, I know. This is going to piss off a few of you Canadians who buy your Christmas trees for $3 and get a free uh, you know, health insurance with it. They're like, oh, don't hurt your back. It's like, hurt your back. Uh, how else do you lug a tree home when you live up five flights of stairs? Either way, our tree price became into $169 plus the stupid stand we didn't even want, but it was already it was already knocked onto the tree. And when you got into taxes, we were looking at about $200. Either way, if you want to check out that vlog, our Christmas tree doubled in price this year. Treeflation. You know, go blame Obama or whatever the hell you <laughs> people want to make it political. I don't know. I think it had to do with the drought. I'm not really sure. Either way, that vlog is live. You can go see us right now. Also, I've got um, uh, visiting New York City and, of course, taste testing the new Peppermint Frosty at Wendy's. So all these vlogs will be uh, posted. A link down below. That's our video right here. Let me know. Was Rachel checking out Johnny? All the important questions we're asking. And, oh, oh, I've also got a Dave Neal show up. Brittany Griner was released from the Russian prison and is on our way to San Antonio, Texas right now. And we covered that story at the Dave Neal Show. Click on it over there. We'll talk to you in a bit.